Has it ever happened to you that you wake up with a bruise and have no idea where it came from? You didn't fall, you didn't hit yourself, but there it is. What are the causes of bruising if you're not seeing any concussions on your skin? This could be liver damage, it could be liver failure, it could be the lack of vitamins, or sometimes even a more terrible disease that if not diagnosed properly could lead to death. What are its causes? How can you solve this problem? How can you eliminate the bruising that you're not even seeing where it comes from? That's what I'm going to reveal to you in today's video. Bruising without a trauma is something that many of us have experienced. We've seen bruising when we wake up or after a while, after even having it for a week, we see that we have a bruise that is already more oxidized than just a couple days. Why are we seeing this happening? This could actually mean that there's something going on that your body is indicating that something is not right. Something is malfunctioning. It might be your blood vessels. It might be a clotting issue. And in any case, this has to be addressed before it gets worse. Number one, capillary fragility is quite common. We normally don't think that we are all different. We've been told all the time that we are all the same, that we have nothing that separates us in difference from within. But the reality is that medically and physiologically, we are all different. Our blood vessels to some people are stronger than to others. Remember, we are men, we are women, we are children, we are elderly people, and our blood vessels may vary. They may vary in strength, they may vary in composition, in growth, in nutritional value, and all this plays is a role. It's a very important role that we have to think about because capillaries can easily break even in mild rubbing or light pressure. And some people don't consider that this might be an age issue or it might be a nutritional issue. And it has a lot to do with how your body is formed and how it has developed. Now, if you want strong capillaries, you want to make sure that you have a good circulatory system and you make sure that your, your arteries and your veins are responding to the blood pressure and the pressure needed. Well, you need exercise. You need collagen. You need protein. You need all the ingredients necessary in order for your body to form these blood vessels. And at the same time, you need the stimulus, all that exercise and rupture in muscles or physical activity to stimulate the production and to make strong your blood vessels that are probably now breaking with age or structure or genetic makeup. If you need something natural that has all these nutritional ingredients, look for Collagen, Extra Flex, Bone Ultra, or Multivitamin from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two, you might have a liver disease or liver damage. Your liver has more than 500 functions that it has to perform in order for you to stay healthy. One of them, or a couple of them, have to do with coagulatory factors or coagulation factor. The liver produces proteins needed for blood clotting, and when it's damaged due to cirrhosis, hepatitis, this blood is more likely to bleed or bruise because it doesn't have these factors that accelerate the coagulation process. You see, if you hit yourself and it starts to bleed, immediately your blood has to have all these ingredients produced by the liver in order to stop the bleeding, in order for you not to see the bruises. And if you do not have a well-functioning liver and you are not producing these factors, you're going to see with any rubbing bruises that shouldn't be there in the first place. This could be an indication, a symptom a sign of liver, liver damage, hepatitis, liver inflammation, maybe a result of alcoholism, viral hepatitis, advanced fatty liver disease, and many other conditions that you might be suffering and you're not even being aware of. Make sure to strengthen your liver. Make sure to take out all these junk foods that are damaging it every single day. Fried foods, packaged goods, start taking vitamins, herbs, supplements that will cleanse your liver and help it stay healthy the way you want it. Look for HepaClean, Thistle Essence, Colopgon, or maybe even metathyroid, which also helps with liver metabolism at finelandvitamins.com. Number three, the deficiency of essential vitamins. Vitamins are key when it comes to forming a good healthy blood or a good healthy vessel. Vitamin C, for example, strengthens your blood vessels to form collagen. If you don't have vitamin C, you won't have the formation of healthy collagen and its deficiency might cause other conditions that you don't even know you are suffering because you're not aware that this uh, bruising is actually a deficiency of vitamin C. Then you have vitamin K, which is vital for blood clotting. A vitamin deficiency in vitamin K makes it harder to stop 
internal bleeding. And this is what doctors use sometimes in emergency rooms. They give that patient a, do a dosage of vitamin K and it helps out with that coagulation factor. And apart from this, obviously you have a healthy blood. You need a healthy blood for this to work. Vitamin B12, folate, always will help you produce healthy uh, red blood cells. And these red blood cells will be able to carry all this oxygen, platelet activity, and me metabolic rate that you need in your blood in order to stop bleeding and not to see the bruises that you're probably seeing. So sometimes it might be a vitamin deficiency. Maybe you need a multivitamin, a Ultra C1000, other supplements that will help you with this because the only thing you need might be just a simple vitamin that you are lacking. Number four, be careful with autoimmune diseases or conditions. Autoimmune conditions today are very common very common. With the amount of jabs that we're receiving, with the amount of junk food we're eating, all these chemicals and pesticides, all these stressful conditions we're using, we're getting used to live with, are activating in our body certain processes where our immune cells just go out of whack. And our immune system mistakenly attacks sometimes blood components like platelets, which will stop bleeding, which will stop the bruising. And this attack on platelets and blood vessels can lead to certain disease. Some examples are systemic lupus erythematosus, which is LSLC. It's a condition which is very common in women. And if you're seeing this frequently, you might want to see or get a doctor's appointment to see if you don't have this problem. Another disease is the autoimmune ITP, which is when the body destroys its own platelets. The body can destroy these quack coagulation factors, these platelets which will stop bruising, and you will see constant bruising or maybe even other conditions that are terrible for the human body because you cannot stop bleeding and you're seeing bruises all the time. Don't forget to give this video a like button, don't forget to share it, and don't forget that bruising is not a good sign. And if you're seeing it often, might not be a good idea to let it go and actually get some something analyzed in order to discover where it comes from. Take care and God bless.